Hello and welcome lovely people. I embarked on the Lifebook adventure six months ago dreaming it would lead to a greater sense of joy and happiness, a stronger confidence in my internal compass and a source of inspiration and connection with like-minded people. Is this the answer we've been looking for? Can Lifebook help design the life we crave? Here are my thoughts. One, connection with like-minded people. Unfortunately, this wouldn't be the case. A vibrant and bustling group of 1,000 members has become a ghost town. Any sense of community has morphed into self-promotion, <laughs> one with barely any viewers. And even the smaller splinter groups seem to have disappeared. Maybe some people have generated new friends or inspiration, however, that was not the case for me. Further, my attempts to ask how Lifebook Mastery has fared has been met with a deafening silence. Two, trusting my inner compass. Any shift here is due to the work I've put in, but I find Lifebook provides a common and simple language which I enjoyed expressing towards the willing. Three, a joyful existence. I deeply believe that a lasting sense of joy and happiness is difficult to achieve through the Lifebook method. Yes, in the short run it can give you a sense of accomplishment and joy, but, and it's a big but, is this sustainable in the long run? Only you can answer that for yourself, however for me, it's tiring to keep asking for more, rarely satisfied or grateful. Was it worth it? For me absolutely because of the following. The refund, which means you have nothing to lose other than your time. The language, because it's simple, clear, and universally understood. And lastly, insight that I didn't want to run my life using the Lifebook method. So, if Lifebook isn't it, what's next in the search for a joyful existence? Well, I'm glad you asked because once I understood why Lifebook didn't work for me, I actually uncovered my own process. One that encouraged me to let go of what's missing and instead understand why it mattered in the first place. See, because Lifebook starts by asking, what do you want? Naturally many go, ooh, it's summer, let's lose some weight. And I'm sure all of us know how that one plays out. A step change in exercise, reduction in meals, fast forward a week or two and that initial joy and excitement has been replaced with pressure, anxiety, and maybe even a sense of failure. How is it that something we wanted so badly can be the source of our suffering? And I realized what was missing was why. Why did I care so much? Why did it matter in the first place? See, a strong why shines a torch to where your effort should be and aids your conviction to ride through the hard times. So, if losing weight actually mattered because of lasting health, suddenly so many more options are available than cutting down meals and exercise. Now we begin to replace summer diet with a healthy lifestyle and the conversation shifts from fad to something much more long-term, sustainable and hopefully joyful. I jokingly refer to my system as Lifebook 2.0 and I'll be sharing details about how it all works in the next installment. Thanks for coming along with me on this adventure towards a happier life. Till next time, bye.